If I if I press and hold the option button and then take my middle mouse wheel and start to scroll, I can actually zoom in and get a bit more of a detailed look at the at the waveform. Now what you'll notice is the signal on this one, it's quite it's quite noisy and you can see it's like quite muffled, quite noisy and it's not crisp. What I can actually do is if I go to these three buttons here, three, three dots and select low pass filter. Now you see we've cleaned up all that noise and we've got a much cleaner signal on our waveform. So I'll just show you before and then I'll show you after. Now, one thing you might've noticed is when I select low pass filter, if you have a look at these little spikes here in the highlights, if I press that, that all disappears and all that noise is cleaned up. What that means is we do actually have parts of our image that sit up here, but because we have used that low pass filter and cleaned up the noise signal, we're, we're losing that. So when you do use the low pass filter, you'll want to make sure you select extents here. And then now you see we get the extents. So you can see the full range of our luminance values now. So you can see all this has reappeared. And it just keeps you safe, you know, whenever you're pushing up your highlights or bringing on your shadows, you'll be able to see the regions that will you'll lose with, with that extents option selected. If I just zoom in here and I have a quick look and let's say I take off the low pass filter, you can see we're kind of going up into those extents and then I turn on, they disappear. But because we've got our extents on, we can, we can see the full range. So that's just something to keep in mind when you are cleaning up your signal using that low pass filter.